OK, so again, remember what we do in this case. If we, um, if we need to test this, we obviously know our degree in our numerator is larger than our degree in our denominator. So therefore, what we want to do is divide every single term, Miranda, every single term by the largest power, our variable with the largest power in from our denominator. So now, everything is going to look like this. So x to the first is the largest. So I'm going to divide everything by x to the first. Does everybody see that? Now we just determine. Now remember, the last thing that you basically need to know is as limit as x approaches infinity, if you guys remember of um, 1 over, I'm oh, sorry, basically it could be c over x to the r, right? That equals 0. Correct? That was that really, really important skill that we need for this. So obviously, we have a number over x, so we know that goes to 0. Here, you have to use the properties of exponents. x to the 3 halves divided by x to the, to the 1 is going to give you x to the, x to the 1 half. Um, over here, we're left with 3. And then over here, we're left with 0. So what we have is um, a negative. As this number keeps on getting larger and larger and larger, it's going to go to infinity. Because you think about x's, numbers, they keep on going to go up and up. If you think about that, that's the same thing as the square root. It's going to go up smaller. But as numbers keep on getting bigger and bigger, it's a, there is no boundness to this, right? It's going to end up going to infinity. So we have minus infinity divided by 3. That's just going to equal negative infinity. 